Well, something that was really not expecting today, obviously the Eagles are cutting their roster down, but when you start trading players that you don't think that should, that should be traded and more cut than traded, like offensive lineman Matt Pryor, that's played multiple positions on this team that this year just couldn't handle playing the right tackle spot and being that reliable guy, um, just did not look good. Now, Matt Pryor... Um, has just not been a good player, has not been good with protection, run blocking, you name it. I think he's been all around that bad. So the Eagles trade Matt prior to the Colts and a seventh-round pick. The Colts give the Eagles a sixth-round pick. So what we traded for Gardner Minshew, because we ended up giving away a sixth-round pick, we ended up getting that sixth-round pick back from the Colts. Okay. Um... Now you're wondering and you're sitting here like, how? This is this is great. I mean, really, you got a six-round pick for a really bad player in Matt Pryor. For a player that doesn't even for a player that is not even practice squad material, guys. I mean, you got an actual draft pick for him, which is a steal. This guy should have been cut more than traded. I mean, this guy, yeah. I mean, guy should have been cut. I don't know how the Colts have been are interested. I don't know why, but it is what it is. Um, then you ask yourself a question. Why is Andre Dillard still here? I'm telling you guys, Dillard is going to be here because of desperation, because the Eagles need bodies. The Eagles need bodies. He got LaRaven Clark, but he plays three positions. He plays left tackle, right guard, right tackle. Who knows if LaRaven Clark could actually be used to another position. So I don't know on the offensive line. Dillard, on, on the other hand, I don't know if they tried cross-training him this offseason and whatnot. I have no idea. He's already been injured again. Okay, and he got some playing time, and he didn't look good. Looked like he was getting beat. I don't like his attitude. His per I don't know. I, I feel like he sounds defeated every time he has a press conference. He starts talking about things. I don't know, but Dillard has just been a total disaster, and Jordan Mulata is winning this job. We all knew that Jordan Mulata is going to win this job. Okay, we all knew this. We said, oh, there's a competition brewing, but there really wasn't. <laughs> I mean, I guess they want to make things interesting. But as of right now, you know, you acquire a six-round pick for a player that should have been cut in Matt Pryor. Andre Dillard is probably going to be here because they need bodies. He's not going to make it here because of his skill. He's going to make it and stay here on this roster because they need bodies, because we need someone behind Jordan Mulata. Depending what what they're doing with LaRaven Clark, that's a whole different story. But as of right now, it's desperation for bodies. Unless the Eagles go out and get someone that's better, that's a different story. And if they and if they trade Andre Dillard for another draft pick, then you know it is what it is. I won't be disappointed about it. Um, the Eagles have sixteen million in cap space. I mean, they have you know uh, these other signings, these depth signings shouldn't be that expensive. So I thought this was kind of a steal. A low-end steel trade because the Eagles should have cut Matt Pryor more than trade him and still got a six-round pick. Can't complain at all. So let me know what you guys think. Very interested. And we're going to go through the day, and obviously I'll keep updating you guys throughout the day of what's going on. And I'll see you guys later. Chicks going to follow slide. Peace out, guys. Peace.